we're going to be talking about physical the physical process of soil building and when we talk about that we have a question basically how is soil made and how to get where it is okay we have two things to talk about here weathering and deposition uh, weathering is natural processes turning big things and grinding them down into smaller things and deposition is the moving of those smaller things from one place to another. All right, let's examine weathering a little closer right now. Uh, when we, the main focus here for soil building when we are in the topic of weathering is erosion. Erosion occurs uh, when uh, wind, rain, ice, uh, just um, normal weather processes uh, break rock down into smaller particles. So our example here is this big uh, uh, formation here. It's kind of like a mesa. So what we have going on here is that rain will come down and and hit hit this rock all over the place. All right, and each little droplet of rain will take off a little bit of this rock. And as that collects, it starts forming these little rivers going along the path of least resistance until you get all those little bits of rock deposited near the bottom. Okay, So the weathering, the erosion part is actually the rain hitting this and breaking off little pieces of this rock. You can also have wind coming in and breaking off little pieces of this rock <clears throat> and uh, other forces such as freezing and thawing which I can't really draw so I won't. Alright, let's go on to the next one here. Um, oh yes, as those smaller particles get carried, uh, get broken down, they get carried to low areas, high to low areas. Now that brings us to deposition, depositing things. Um, silt is a form of kind of like a dirt, a weird clay um, substance that is in rivers. It's carried by rivers, and it's basically little pieces of dust-like particles. They could be parts of rocks, maybe decayed organic matter, um, but it is created by erosion over a long period of time, and then it's carried by rivers. Every time you see a river that looks dirty and nasty, it's not always polluted, although sometimes it is. Uh, right here we see lots of silt being kicked up here. Silt is that really fine stuff at the bottom of a river or lake. And rivers can carry it a really long distance. This is the... Uh, oh, wait. Before we get to that, um, silt can also cause deltas to form because that river will carry the silt, and then by the time it gets to just about sea level, the water slows down a lot, and the silt that is that was at one time suspended in the water will begin to kind of... Uh, deposit itself near the end. We, we see that happening right here at the Nile River Delta. Look here, we see the coast and then it just kind of bows out right here. And then it goes along. Okay, this bowing right here is caused by the deposit, the deposition of silt over millions of years. We can actually see evidence of this silt being carried right here along the uh, in the coast here. It's uh, the Nile River is depositing the silt into the Mediterranean Sea and it's being carried by uh, sea currents here. <clears throat> Alright, so that's pretty much it. That is how um, soil is formed and then carried.